Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, this is Doreen over at Fusion Pilates in Nashville. The last blurb I talked about lining up the feet with the outside edges of the feet as opposed to the medial edges of the feet. So we talk about the lateral edges as opposed to the medial because we know if we line up the medial, <clears throat> then I'm heading out this way. I want to line up the outer edges so that my feet are pointing straight forward. So I have perfectly aligned my foot, okay? Which then shows how much internal rotation I have at the thighs. If I try to bring my thighs into external rotation, my feet will have to supinate. I'm going to turn around and show you what I'm talking about. You can see the two lines I've put on the back of my left leg, right? When I externally rotate my thigh, I'm trying to bring those lines straight behind me so that they point straight ahead. Now my thigh is lined up in relation to my foot. You can see when I let my leg relax, the lines point more off to the side. What that means is my thigh is internally rotated. I am using the hamstring insertion points to line up. Obviously I can't do it by looking behind me because then I twist with my pelvis and my lines would be off. So it's best if you do this with somebody else so they can look at your lines. It's hard to see with the knees, especially when your knees have been modified surgically. Uh, things might not look the same. But I generally know how much I need to externally rotate my thigh. So when that happens, you'll see what happens to the foot. Right? My foot goes into supination, so the bottom is inverted. But my foot and my ankle and my thigh are now lined up. Right? Then you say, okay, are your feet supple enough? Do you have the ability to bring the ball of the foot back down onto the ground, maintaining the arch and not letting the thigh roll back in? Because right? you can see now, if I roll that thigh in, what does it do to my ankle? And what does it do to my arch? Flattens those guys out. So I want to be able to externally rotate my thigh, keep my heel and my ankle in place, and bring the forefoot back down to the ground. Now, lots of times, people don't have the ability to use their toes. They don't have the mobility in the forefoot because they've been encased in shoes for too long. So you need to, A, get rid of the shoes a little bit more often, and B, start to work on the mobility of the foot. And a nice way to do that is when you're seated, grab a hold of the ankle and the forefoot and start to twist the forefoot gently so that you can start to have the mobility to be able to get the forefoot to evert while the heel is still in place, right? So if I've rolled out into supination, I'm, I've got inverted feet right now. So I need to be able to evert the forefoot, not the whole foot, but just the forefoot to come back down to the ground. That involves working with the intrinsic foot muscles, both in mobility and strength to be able to do that. Because if your foot is super stiff, A, you're not going to be able to do it. There's the mobility. And if the muscles have been sleeping for so long, you've never asked them to do any work, they don't know how to connect. So you're gonna have to work on those neural connections from the head to the foot. But we're working on doing it in an aligned position. So outside edges of feet lined up based on the two points that I talked about earlier and then externally rotating the thighs based on those hamstring insertions. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject, or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below, on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time, and never stop learning.